Can you take the volume off the TV? And welcome to We Have It On Draft. This is Monty. This is my co-host, Ryan. What's going on? It's been on, guys. We've been, we've been slacking hard. We know, yeah. we know that. We'll make it up to you. We'll put out more of these. But we have a lot of news that we're going to have to try to squeeze in pretty much. Stump. We'll do our best uh, to hit some of the best of free agency, some awards for agency. Then we're just going to end it by uh, going over – the rebuilding the Giants that we've been teasing for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, it was missed, we just missed like a lot of things, so it's, it's not we have no shortage of things to go over, and you know, let's just hit it. Let's get the ground. Yeah, let's just dive into it. Because, yeah, let's just dive right into it. So, free and see, there was a lot that happened. Um, I'll start off, and I'll just say my. I th- what I thought the best signing of free agency was, and I honestly thought it was uh, Tyron Matthew on a one-year deal to uh, the Houston Texans for $7 million. I thought that was the steal of free agency. I mean, he is a stellar free safety, one of the best in the league who can also play slot corner. His deal of injuries, but when he's healthy, he's one of the best pe- players on the field. And to get him for only $7 million – that that's huge. Even if it's one year, that that's huge. Yeah, absolutely. Especially with the fact that you have a lot of your defensive core coming back. Their linebackers should be good, and they have two of the best edge rushers in the NFL. So just to solidify that secondary, and he's going to grow. Of yeah. Course, the- so he's only it's only going to it's only it's, it's just a good fit, and he's going to be versatile for that off or out of that defense. Um, maybe, maybe they lost that juicer team. Brian Cushing though. Yeah, that's probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to have the implications of starting somebody and then have him probably get suspended every year. Yeah, he sucks dick now anyway. Yeah, well, because he's not juicing. All right, well, all right, let's see. Let's go to the next guy. Another guy I thought who signed in just – I don't necessarily he was the best free agency or anything like that, but Sammy Watkins going to Kansas City, I just love that fit. I think for what they needed, they need – like Ty, everyone talks about Tyra Kill, like how good is he. I love Tyra Kill, but he, he's a speed guy. Like you need a guy who could dominate with the size, get a touchdown for you, and just like – be a more all-around wide receiver. And Sammy Watkins, he could be great when he's healthy and he gets time to actually develop into that offense, unlike with the Rams where he got brought in at the end of free agency and really never got a chance to learn that offense, become a part of it. Over there with the big arm Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Tyra Kill, Cream Hunt, that offense is going to be scary this year. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think it wasn't like the best signing of free agency, I think it was like kind of the under the radar, like the wow, this is actually going to be huge. Comics. If he can produce the way he did with the Rams, and like just kind of, he, he needs to grow a little bit more. Obviously, he needs to pick up that yardage. But like eight touchdowns last year, I think this was a really good signing, and it wasn't like they really broke the bank for him. I mean, I definitely think they overpaid for him. A three three years, forty eight million, about sixteen million a year, thirty million guaranteed. It's a lot to pay for a guy who has really never had like that huge year because of, just because he got been derailed by injuries. But I mean, he's a talent. He's it's worth it. He you can take a chance on a guy like that, and I really think as for their offense, that's going to be huge. It's, they are going to be a scary offensive team this year. Yeah, no, I agree, and that actually. Oh, I want to bring up another wide receiver that got signed. Um, so you know how you know who the Bears, you know who they signed. You want to guess who it is? Guess which wide receiver I'm going to talk Dang. about. You're, you're cutting in and out right now. What's up? You're cutting in and out right now. Oh, okay. Um, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Right. Here, we'll try it again. Um, just right, right where you want to go. Talk about us. Uh, Sammy Watkins, just jump back into that, and we'll have Chris cut this back in. Okay, right, you want me to just I'll see if it works. Let me see if I can switch like headphones. See if that works. Okay. One second. 
I think it's more connection, but we'll see. It could be. I'm at my mom's house. a little better. All right, can you hear me now? I definitely hear you better, but I don't know if it was a connection thing or not. Okay, well, all right. Uh, Mike's cut in with, better. All right, cool. That's all we need. Uh, cut in with Sammy Watkins? Yeah. All right, cool. So, Sammy Watkins, I don't think it was the best signing of the NFL, but I think it was kind of under the radar uh, that uh, you know, a sign that really solidified a team around them. I mean, they, you, as you said, with Tyreek Hill, they have the speedy guy. Uh, but they really needed that kind of all around number one wide receiver. And I think if he progresses the way he did last year, eight touchdowns, 600 yards, he just progresses a little more, gets that yards up, learns the system a little better. I think this is a perfect mm-hmm. signing for them. And that, uh, that Chiefs offense is going to be fucking insane. Yeah. I'm just like when you're looking at an offense and you're trying to draw it up, I mean, they're just drawing it how you would like you would just, I mean, just like the physical, like spectacular catch receiver. You got the speed receiver. You got the tight end. You got the running back. You got the big arm quarterback. Cause I'm building the Madden team. That's how I'm building it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, and I think the thing is too, I mean, they, this is their, I mean, they're kind of seeing their window sort of like the Vikings too. I mean, this is like kind of the pinnacle of their offense. This is probably the highest that it's been uh, probably the best, you can say that this is probably the best offense that the Chiefs have entered with in years. The yeah, I think strong. their worry this year is going to be their defense for sure, losing Marcus Peters and, and just getting older. Yeah, he's getting older, but they saved a little bit of the cap space, um, helped them get Sammy Watkins. I think that was a big signing for them. I really think, um, yeah, I think was... this, is, this is honestly, I think this is a really good wide receiver class for free agency. Um, and that is why I don't want to deter too much but um a favorite of mine taylor gabriel signed with the bears i thought that was an awesome signing for the bears to go with him i really did too that was so that was such a good signing by the bears him and alan robinson can you imagine that that's gonna be actually really with mr trubisky i like that grab by taylor gabriel a lot i thought taylor gabriel was a good uh budget grab i think he he can bring speed to that offense He'll find his spot. I mean, he's not going to be like special, but he'll have like he'll have some good plays for them this year. And that's something they needed to get. Uh, honestly, though, I didn't love the fit for loved Allen Robinson, like like as a receiver, and I love the Bears going out and paying a receiver. As far as the fit, though, I don't know. I would have liked to see them get. I mean. He ended up getting traded to the Browns. We haven't talked about that at all. But a guy like Jarvis Landry, like I thought he would be a better fit for that offense. He made more sense to me. I just don't know how his uh, Allen Robinson's like vertical threat is going to do in Najee's offense. I mean, for quarterback like Trubisky, for a West Coast offense like Najee runs, I just don't know how it will go. But I'm not saying it won't work. And I think he will be very good. I think it would be better than he was in the – at least other than that one year on the Jaguars. It's just a better t- team fit. Um, I just it, – it's not my favorite. I would have liked – it's not a bad fit for the Bears. It's a bad fit for Aaron Robinson, if you know what I mean. Right. I actually was going to say the same thing. Um, so pretty much I didn't understand when he signed with them. I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Like it's not okay. really going to yeah. – I was like, it's fine for the Bears, but I don't – He's not going to – the thing is for Allen Robinson, he signed a three-year deal. At the, right. I don't think at the end of the three-year deal he's going to put up those eye-popping I stats. I cut out again. I think we're going to get a connection issue. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Okay. When did I cut out Allen Robinson? As you were starting your, your like thing, literally at the very beginning of it. Okay. Um, I don't know why. Right, so we'll try – we keep – yeah, it probably it, maybe it's my internet because I'm at my mom's house. We'll see. We'll see it. Uh, we'll try it again one more time if it keeps doing it. But let's uh, just start from the top. We'll see if we can go through this. Okay, I can see you again. Um, start from the top. Like how how top? 
like without just like literally that. like when i stopped talking you started talking again that's oh, what i kind of um cool so uh yeah with Allen Robinson, he signed a three-year contract, and that makes me think that I just don't think on the Bears he's going to put up those eye-popping stats. Like he'll always be a obviously a solidified good player, but I don't think he's going to get that eye-popping stats and get that huge contract unless he saw something. Maybe he did the Alshon Jeffrey thing. He was like, I want to go to you know Alshon Jeffrey wanted to go to the Eagles. Maybe he wanted to go hang out with Mr. Bisky. I don't know. He's from the area, so maybe it makes sense. But yeah. I and I mean, I didn't think Alshon Jeffrey would be a good fit for that Eagles offense. And he worked out great. Granted, Carson Wentz has a big time arm, so he can make up for it. Honestly, if I would have picked anyone for Allen Robinson, I would have loved to see him go to San Francisco. I thought that. Oh, you, you just cut out. You cut out when you said San Francisco. Hmm. Fuck. Luck. All right. Um, all right. Let's start again. Start again with. Uh, just repeat, uh, Allen Robinson to San Francisco. All right. Um, I would have loved Allen Robinson, San Francisco. San, mm-hmm. San Francisco is just a perfect match for Allen Robinson. I just love Jimmy Garoppolo there. They need a real wide receiver. Shanahan could use him similar to they use Julio, who Julio was, you know, a uh, a, kind of a similar receiver to him. I mean, Julio's obviously a physical freak, but they're they're similar in ways. I think it would have been a great fit. I think that um, for his career, it would have been better to sign there. But, I mean, I do get it for everybody. I get it because they paid him. They actually didn't pay. They paid him less than Sammy Watkins, which is a little crazy to me. And um, the that Bears got a wide right? receiver. Especially on a bad team, too. It's not, like, it's not like he's going to the Patriots where they'll be like, well, we'll pay you whatever we fucking want. Yeah, I mean, granted, Sammy Watkins came off of like, came off a year where he didn't get hurt for his first time, even though he didn't hit, he had an off year. While Allen Robinson had an off year and then tore his ACL. So yeah, so it's like, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. I, I it, the the Allen Robinson thing didn't make that much sense to me for the bear for his sake, but for the Bears, it's a good sign. But unless like it can, it's going to make their offense better, no doubt. And I think if you mix it in with Taylor Gabriel, that's pretty deadly. No, it's one of the signings I hated at wide receiver. Um, I can guess it. I can guess it. I can guess it. Give me, give me, um, uh, Dante. It's Moncrief. Jordy Nelson. Oh. <laughs> Damn, Jordy <laughs> Nelson on a two-year, fourteen million dollar deal with thirteen of it guaranteed. I just don't get it. Like, why are you getting rid of Michael Crabtree to go get Jordy Nelson and then give him? like 99% of his two-year contract guaranteed. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Jordy Nelson is washed up. He was good with Aaron Rodgers. Like, what do you expect mm-hmm. him to do now this year? I mean, if you're taking anybody from from Aaron Rodgers, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Like, how was Greg Jennings when he left Aaron Rodgers? Not very good. Like Another example, I mean, how was Jason Jones just, when Jason Jones wasn't there? Jason Jones, James Jones. James Jones, my bad. Um when James Jones was, I mean, to be fair, he was a red zone machine in Oakland, but he was really exemplified in Green Bay. So the Aaron Rodgers, yeah, I mean, it was not, it was night and day. Yeah, seriously, I mean, and like, what? I just don't get it. He's so old. He's had so many injuries. I just, it just, didn't I'm gonna, I'm just paying him that much. And paying him, despite like, I mean, seven million a year. It's not completely bringing. It's still a lot of money, but it's not completely breaking the bank. I mean. It's almost it's the same amount Tyre Matthew got paid, you know. Keep that in mind. But anyway, yeah. Uh, but like Jordy Nelson, it's not like it wasn't like he got released because the, the Packers were like, oh, we can't afford you. They're like, well, we don't want you anymore. <laughs> like we don't. Well, need you. I mean, we're yeah, good. they. I mean, they tried to take a pay cut, but you wouldn't do it, right? Uh, I mean, it's good to keep a guy that in in house, but like it's, it wasn't like they were like you know like with when Sue left Detroit, Detroit matched his offer with the Dolphins. Like, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, the Dolphins matches off with Detroit, so it wasn't like they were banging down Nelson's door to come play for them. Yeah, I'm sure I they would have loved that they could, but yeah, exactly. But the thing is, just like Jordy Nelson, he's he's just not that good anymore, and I really don't get why you're paying a guy that much money to let in and despite that getting rid of michael crabtree who was a good wide receiver you're not he's a, just he's a better jordy nelson. jordy nelson he's a better jordy nelson you, you, he is and you're taking away a good wide receiver it makes no sense to me especially a guy that has um especially uh, the thing that i thought was weird about the jordy nelson signing was this is coming off a year where um amari cooper was not good 
and, and mm. Crabtree was. Like Crabtree was the dude for them, and now it's like, well, wait, now you have kind of a hole at wide receiver. Like, what do you do? You let Jordan, uh, you let uh, Mario Cooper go. Like, I don't. That it doesn't seem plausible. But for the most part, I did like these running back signings. Um, actually, uh, let's see. I, I did uh, want to talk about um, the Dolphins. They signed Danny Amendola for a two-year contract. I don't like that. I think it's stupid. Like, why? Uh, I, I just don't see the fit, Two to years, be $12 million. It's just, oh, come on. You're going to cut him I mean, next I, year anyway. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate it. I don't hate it as much. I mean, he's, he had a stellar postseason. But, like, I just don't see the fit as him with as a slot receiver there. I don't I know. Don't, I just don't see it at all. I mean, to be fair, the worst the – worst, um, Handling of wide receivers we saw this offseason. I'm going to give that award to the Jaguars. That was the stupidest thing I've fucking seen. Arguable. No, no, it's not. Arguable. They paid Dante Moncrief <laughs> one year, like $10 million, but you couldn't have tried to pay Allen Robinson. You just let him go. Oh, and then Allen Hearns is gone, too. You, your, your star receivers are Marquise Lee and Dante Moncrief, and you're overpaying for them. No, who was almost the worst signing? Um, no, I don't. Ryan Grant. Ryan Grant. Ryan, Ryan Grant, yeah. He didn't He's, didn't pass that physical. <laughs> he, he, quote unquote. He signed <laughs> he signed a four year twenty nine million dollars deal That's with insane. the Ravens. That's that insane. is for Ryan fucking Grant. Not the running back, the goddamn wide receiver. Like you know, the funniest part is he that, is that whole thing put him on the map that he just didn't pass the physical. Like that's why people know him now more more than ever. From last Dude, year. he he's trash. He's not any good. He was. I don't even know if he was a starter for the Redskins. Like he's not good. I think he was, a role, he, he was a role receiver, right? He, he wasn't yeah, like a starter. I, yeah, I mean, maybe last year when he they lost fucking to Sean Jackson and Pierre Garcon. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, I didn't understand like, but, at all. Seriously, man, like twenty nine oh, million, you, you and then out. yeah, they're like what? You cut out a little bit. Okay, but seriously. So just go to seriously. But seriously, seriously. man, and like million, and then they're like, okay, we're signing you. All of a sudden, Michael Crabtree got cut. See, man, this, you just like your heart rate was too high, and your you your lived to look. You're out. You're out. Get, go, go. They, on. And then nope, it's a call cut, like cut. a week all later cut. for the Colts. Cut, 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 cut. Um, so when you said physical, it just like flatlined. All right, we're not going to make this work. This is going to be too much better if we keep doing this. No, that's okay. But I think it's good, though, because we were on kind of a roll. I didn't want to cut it. I don't want to say it, but I don't want anything to happen like last time with Darth Vader voice. Yeah. So, because like it go, we go for a while, you. and then like – like I. I don't because I, I can't hear when I get sappy. Hey, hey, it's the real yeah. mic. It's the real mic. How's it sound? It sounds good, but you're using headphones, so I don't know. Okay. Are you? Using well, it? I'm using this one for. Yeah, this this okay. is like the. Let's let's try it one more time. Let's see what we can do. One more time. See what we're doing with. Because we need to talk. About, uh, go to the Michael Crabtree got cut. Go. Okay, Michael Crabtree got cut. It just magically Ryan Grant lose like just fails his physical, and it's like, oh yeah, man, you you limped a little bit. You, you your heart rate's high. You're you're fucking out. Leave, yeah. leave our fucking city. <laughs> yeah, you have that missing toe, man. I don't have a missing toe. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It's not on the physical. <laughs> come here, come here, Crabtree. Come here. You're you're a new, you're a new star, buddy. Yeah. You, want, you want this contract? Yeah, <laughs> do, yeah. Do I'll I take, need to take a physical? Nah, you're good. You're cool, man. Don't even worry about it. You're good. And then it's like I, I kind of, I kind of busted my knee last week. Eh, don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I, I might have torn my ACL. <laughs> no, you're good. No, you're good. And then like magically, he passed it with the Colts. <laughs> the Colts were like, "We'll sign you for five million because <laughs> he has a failed physical on his record." You cut out. Oh, I did. Fuck. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Man. All right. We're done with it. But it was uh, dude, it was. Good. I was gonna say, say it was funny as shit. Solid. I'm not another. I'll t- I'll bring this up next time, but I th- another I saw this quote. Maybe I'll try to figure out who it was before our next one. But there was this quote that a wide receiver is getting recruited by the Ravens, mm-hmm. and he goes, he goes like, he's like, yeah, I'm just not the type of wide receiver that like I don't think I'd be good for their offense. And he's like, what do you mean? He goes, I feel like they just want guys who will run straight and get pass interference calls. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> I forgot who said it. Where was this? 
It was the beginning of free agency. I forgot who said it. It was a pretty big name. I think it was it was like an Allen Robinson or somebody like that. <laughs> I just want I don't know. No, it was a Taylor Gabriel. It was something like that. That's funny. Jordy Nelson. That is such bullshit though. It's like Ryan Grant failed his physical and then he passed the, but he did he did handle with a lot of humility or uh, like humblism because like he was getting asked the next day. He was like, what? How do you feel about that? He's like, well, it sucks. And the reporter's like, you, you lost like $20 million. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, he handled it pretty well for being what happened. It's pretty. It is pretty. Except when you can't record right now. I, how come not a little... <laughs> this is my favorite song. I couldn't even hear what you were saying. You were like just eating the mic. The thing is, like, we're talking now. Why wasn't it working then? Why does it, like... No, you're you're going in now. Oh, really? Okay. Well, fuck it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> Is this better? I don't... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is it the dog? And it's like... Is it the dog? It's a dog. It's an ugly dog. It is ugly. You must have a beagle. The beagle was cute as shit. <laughs> Actually, I can't hurt. The, I can't hear the jaguars too much. What? I'll be cutting out. You're gonna have to repeat that. <laughs> I didn't even. Really, I just said what? Oh, well, you're gonna have to repeat it again. So. What? Yeah, that was a good take. That was a good take. Well, that's okay. I mean, how long? What's the timetable we have? We're probably not gonna record this weekend because we were finally able to do it. We'll probably just have to do it Monday. That's fine. I'm not doing anything Monday. Chris, Chris is gonna yell at me. Why? Because we have because we're assholes. <laughs> I feel like he's like anticipating us to do something, and then it's like because he texted us. I think it was St. Patty's weekend. He's like, "You guys better be doing a drunk podcast." We're like, oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, we suck. That's okay. I, I think brought, it's I think it's fine though. I brought and... this everywhere I've gone. I brought my lap. I brought my laptop and my microphone twice to Philly and. This home just didn't do anything in Philly. Yeah, the thing we should have, but we, we should have, but things. we're retarded, so it's not going to happen. What you should do is bring it into Starbucks and then like have it peeking out of your bag, and then people are like, "Oh my god, he's a podcaster!" Because all we had to do was just like we could have just set this thing up and we could have just like passed it back and forth. Like, oh yeah, absolutely, we could have robot penis the whole thing. It'd have been good, dude. <laughs> Like, it would have been it would have been perfect, and we had like the little round table. We could have honestly just sat on the couch and just did it right next to each other. We could have, and we but we suck, yeah, because with the peach, and we could have both had our notes like open. It would have been fine. Yeah, well, we're kind of the worst, so let's hope we don't ever get big. Because <laughs> we'll never do yeah. a podcast. No, if I mean, if we get big and we're getting paid for this, I'll fucking do it every day. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. And we're getting paid. I'm saying, like, if we start getting, like, a decent following. Oh, yeah, we'll still suck. We'll still suck. At it. It'll be like, uh, I had drill eight times. That's a lot of times to have drill, Ryan. We, I'm sure we'd be better, but. I'm sure we'd, I'm sure just because, like, we'd, if, I'm sure we'd get more involved into if we were, like, getting fan questions and, like, people were, like, tweeting at us. Stuff like that. That sucks, dude. I should, I should have known that I was getting MLB TV for free, so you don't have to pay for it. Yeah, but that's cool, though. It is cool. I'm glad. And I got, I got money off a hotel. So if you need to book a hotel soon, I don't think we're gonna book one. I can give you my discount. What'd you say? And I get for some reason, like T-Mobile gives us money off hotels. <laughs> So if you need that, because it, it expires tomorrow. So if you are planning a trip, let me know. Oh, see, we were, when we were mid podcast, and it looked like the, the lion or the tigers scored the winning run, and now they just called it off. It's bullshit. Okay. Are there? Are we still waiting on some top like free agents? Eric Reed is still not signed. Jonathan Hankins. Right. Jonathan Hankins, yeah. I thought would have been signed by now. He sucks too. You know, he's twenty five. He's he's pretty he's pretty decent. He's not terrible. 
I would easily take a tan- chance on Navarro Bowman. Oh, you think I wouldn't sign Benny Logan? Pfft, you're wrong. I would also sign Derek Johnson. I would sign Coney Ely. And Jarrell Freeman. I would sign every one of these people. So you are insane. What are you doing today? Oh, Thomas Rawls joined the Jets. Did you know that? No. I... DeMarco Murray is still not signed. I guess it's not a huge surprise. <laughs> I would have thought Santa would have signed him by now. <laughs> Muff, hey. Oh, uh, I was one thing. Well, this is one thing I was gonna say in our in our Giants thing. I and this isn't just being like a Giants fan. Like Mark hit King to the Giants makes too much sense. Who is it, Demarco Murray? <laughs> Do you hear me? I can hear you now. I was going to say this. like, and I'm not saying just as a Giants fan, but Marquette King to the Giants makes too much sense. Yeah, who's your punter right now? What? Who's your punter right now? No one. Oh, then absolutely. He's a good punter. And <laughs> you don't have a punter. <laughs> of, course, of course it makes sense. I think we might have like a practice. You might have a practice squad guy who's never punted like in the NFL. Yeah, so you might not want to sign him. By the way, <laughs> just to... yeah. Why don't go sign Jeff Locke, dude? Dude, I want Mark. I want Marquette King. He's swaggy as fuck. <laughs> he is. He's like a thug. He's like a thug punter. He's he's cool as shit. I want Marquette King. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's like a straight up thug. It's funny. I love I love punters with some swag. There's like two of them, so most punters Let's are just see. boring. I mean, there was people. there's been like three of them. Who? Um, I mean, the obvious ones are McAfee and um, and yeah, but they're uh, not playing anymore. Mar- Market King. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, there's Market King's like really only the one in the league, but with Steve Weatherford had a little swag to him. Yeah, he did a little pop in his step. Well, they always ask that question, yeah. like. He knew- I mean, yeah, no weather for two, but that's that's it. That's it for punters. He knew we could knock whoever he wanted out. Steve Weatherford. It yeah. sounds like a wrestler's name, though. To be honest, <laughs> Steve Weatherford. Uh, oh, that's right. Tier Whitehead is in Oakland. Oakland's gonna suck this year. I don't care what anyone says. Wait, like you're they're going to be a fucking disaster. Your linebackers in Oakland. Linebackers in Oakland. The Lions linebackers in Oakland. Yeah, to hear Whitehead. Yeah. He's leave. He left. Who's starting weak side linebacker now? I don't. I I can't tell because like the, there's they're going to run a new defense, so I have no idea what's going on. Probably, probably Mies Raven or. Um, maybe are you guys going to run a 3-4 th- now or are you running a 4-3 stuff? I have no idea. They haven't really Cuz does that. don't the Patriots run a 3-4? They run like a 3-4 hybrid though. Like they run like they change it up. Like they'll go like 4 Yeah, three. they do run a lot of 4. Like yeah. they'll do both. It's so fucking weird. Which makes sense though cuz you can't keep Alshon Robinson and run a 3-4. He would be terrible in a 3-4. He would do nothing. I don't know. I guess weak side. I mean, they signed a lot of linebackers. Like they signed Jonathan Freeney. They signed Devin Kennard, uh, Christian Jones. But your defensive yeah. tackle you're talking about, the Robinson. Yeah, Ashawn Robinson. How heavy is he? Let me look up his stats. He's not like. He's just not like. 
he's more so. Let me, let me look it up. I don't know his fucking. I don't know his stats by heart. He's a big boy. But, he's three hundred and twenty pounds. Three twenty-two. Can you pass rush at all? No. He what? has had a to- he's had a total of one sack of a uh, half a sack in his career. So he yeah, he's, he's not great, but you can play him at nose guard. But like, he's a little bit small for nose guard. Yeah, so it's like he needs he's not the, too he small. Needs... Three twenty is pretty big, but no, he's a big dude. But he's better suited in a four three that he can bounce off somebody else. Yeah, he, oh, you probably play him in nose guard if he's played three four. I mean, he's fine. Like he's not. He wouldn't be horrible. Oh, he had two sacks as rookie year. Okay, but he's just more so a run stuffer. Yeah, which is what I, which is what a defense, well, a nose tackle would do. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. That, that makes that's, sense. No, that's exactly what that they makes do. Sense. <laughs> I guess I don't know. I I'm so new to the three four <laughs> thing. It's weird. Yeah, I, tried to read I mean, about it. let's see, like. Like Snacks Harrison's one of the best nose tackles in the league, and he's three forty one, so that's like not that much like. Ah, it's bigger. like twenty pounds though. Twenty pounds is pretty sizable. Hi, Mofi. The, he's like the greatest though. He's like one of the biggest. So like, twenty pounds from like the biggest. It's not a big of a deal. Right, but like it's still not like. It's not like they're like oh they're pretty similar. It's not like t- ten or five pound difference. Like it's pretty. It's pretty like. Pretty big, man. Wolfie, do you mm-hmm. want to go outside, honey bun? Do you want to go outside, my little lovey buggies? Come on. Come on, buggy bug. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel with 3 4. That's... I've just been so used to the 4 3 my entire life. So, it's a whole new world, man. I'm excited to see what Patricia can do. I mean, he's a defensive genius, so I fucking yeah. trust the guy. Yeah, he, he's gonna be better. Remember that guy who tried telling us that that scoring defense meant nothing? Oh yeah, and it's like we. I even like I even played the part of like, okay, he clearly thinks that he means that defense scoring. I'm like, even that means something. So it's like, come yeah. on, buddy boy. He's an idiot. <laughs> but like. The worst part is he didn't play it off like he made a mistake. He played it off just like he kept trying. He was like trying to deny it, basically. And he was like, "He's like, what? Did you did you mean like at least points allowed?" I'm like, "Yes, scoring defense. They yeah, mean the same defense, thing, correct?" Right. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, well, at least points allowed I mean, would would definitely be great. And I was like, "Yeah, that's what I meant." No, that would be stupid. <laughs> okay, what's your point then? The thing is, like, this is kind of mad. It's like, okay, you beat Matt Patricia in one game. And also, too, Jim Schwartz got lit up as well. It's not like – it's just that's did just you, a failure. Did you see that uh, – did you see that video with um, with uh, uh, little Dickie and Chris Brown? No. They, he made, this, like, a new song, music video, and they switch bodies. That's weird. And, like, I don't think little, I want to I'll be and honest. like little, it's like Freaky Friday like stuff. Yeah, it and sounds... um, and like Chris and like Chris Brown's like, it's like hey, like like I can say nigga now, nigga, nigga, nigga. He just drops like all the niggas in his song. <laughs> and, and then um, but then like there's this picture that came out of Chris Brown. Apparently, it was like a joke, but mm-hmm. this came out of uh, uh, the claims at least of him like choking this girl. This picture. Jeez, is that? That's not real, though. No, that's real. That's Chris Brown. Really? Yeah. Jesus, when did this come out? Um, I don't know. Not like today or yesterday or something. Really? But um, better than the two. Yeah. They claim it was like a that he was like kidding. I don't know. That doesn't but, look like um, he's kidding. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, J- but uh, John Ross quote tweeted it. And he's like, he's like, he's like, man, that's a little dicky. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yeah, that's funny. At least John Ross right. is good for something. Yeah, he might get a corner. What? The corner. Wouldn't be bad. 
right, I'm gonna go take a sh- shower. All right, man. Well, it's five afternoon on Monday. Later. All right, later, dude. Pace.